What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome to the Premier League team of the season. It is 6pm. Um, unfortunately, I've got 100 player picks that I'm going to be opening on stream in about 30 minutes or so. So if you guys want to come and watch that, fb.gg slash Nepentez, link is down below. We've got 100 player picks and some other pretty cool packs saved. So I sadly won't be able to, um, won't be able to open packs for today's Prem Tops. But what we are going to do is look at the Prem Tops. Tops? The Prem Tots. The season objectives are being updated. Let's go. That sounds, uh, that sounds good. So we have got a team of the season, Rodri, that we expected. Unlocking the defense. This is three goals in life at friendly Premier play. Score two outside the box goals with midfielders in Premier play. Score 16 goals. Win nine matches. Score in 14 separate matches with a four-star weak foot player. Um, so what is Premier Play? Premier Play is three clubs minimum, Premier League players minimum seven. So basically four icons, seven Premier League players, happy days. Um, we've also got team of the season Bamford, who is likely to be through uh, squad battles. Yes, score 12 goals using English strikers. Very nice indeed. Assist in three separate matches with 11 Premier League players in the starting squad. Score using Premier League players in seven squad battles wins. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. What? Score a finesse goal in 12 squad battles matches. That is... I mean, depending on how good his in-games are, that is a lot of games required for one 89-rated English team of the season striker. It's at that point where it's like, is that even really worth it? Like, if you could do that with other objectives, nice. If you could do that whilst playing rivals, perhaps, nice. But otherwise, that is that is very, very, very stressful. That's that's just that's a lot for, for a team of the season. We'll go and have a look, as I say, at the in-game stats on those in a second. And then let's have a look. Do we have new icons today? No, but we've got one day until the other icons expire. So I assume tomorrow we'll get some new icons. Did EA drop the Premier League League SBC back? Did they drop it? No. Very interesting. And so, they gave us flashback Gareth Bale four segments that we knew that was coming. Community Team of the Season Challenge, Premier League Challenge for a rare gold pack. And that is going to be 65 rated, four rares, one nation, six minimum, Premier League players minimum one. That's actually not bad. <laughs> for a rare gold pack. Apparently, Championship e EFL Team of Seasons are apparently still in packs. So they're there till Monday, which is good because we don't get Saudi League until Monday. So it, it is just the team and the Bale flashback. Now, we had a little look at his in-game stats. It's not great. It's not bad either. Pace is very nice. Of course, four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot is a little bit disappointing. His ball control... Dribbling, composure, reactions are very nice. Agility is okay as well. Balance is a little low, but it's not the worst. His physicals are okay. His aggression is a bit low. His short passing, long passing vision are only okay. The fact that this is four segments, an 83, an 84 with an inform, an 85 with an inform, and an 86 with an inform. Let me tell you, that is horrific value. Saudi League is in there. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Let's have a look at the news category. Item releases. We've got the Premier League team of the season in there. Only the 15. And it'll be the team of the week, I think, as the other item release set. Yeah, team of the week. So... Now, people, we'll, we'll open 10 player picks, and then we'll go and look. I don't want to waste too many player picks from the video, but we'll open 10, and uh, we'll see. The, the, obviously, the, the championship or the EFL team of the seasons are still there. So, for those of you that don't know, EA released an update on the um, Foot Champs rewards, and it said, basically, for the goal 2+, plus all the way up to top 200... It will be elite. Oh, Sancho, that's not bad. It will be elite. Sorry, it will be the Friday team of the season players. So obviously, oh my God. Didn't you get? Can't remember who the team of the season was. 
Damn, how did he not get team of the season? That's devastating, that is. That's devastating. Um, but yeah, basically, we'll take that Leroy Sané. Basically, the EFL was seemingly going to be in there till Monday. And then from Monday going forwards, the Saudi League would be in there. And it will go to a Friday-Monday split. So every Friday we'll get the Major League. Every Monday we'll get the Minor League. And so on and so forth. So we've opened so far seven. We'll do ten. That is eight. And then I want to go and have a look at the in-game stats of these players, of these Premier League Team of the Season players. That is nine. And last but not least, that is ten. So unfortunately, no Prem tots for me. Yeah, Gareth Bale has to be one of the worst valued SBCs we have seen. Let us go and have a look. So we've got the Premier League Challenge. Not bad, that one. Nice and easy for a rare gold pack. This Gareth Bale, not only is it awful value as an SBC in general, this card would have to be something spectacular. And it's just not. It's all right. It's all right. But it's just not great. A Maestro's good. An engine would be good. Again, balance reactions low. Physical's quite low. It's, it's just... You know, the three-star weak foot on him as well. Finishes okay. Like, this is this is an 83, an 84, an 85, and an 86, all within forms. It is terrible value. Absolutely terrible value. Um, but what I do want to go and look at, I want to go and look at Bamford and Rodri's in-game stats for the two uh, objective players. So Bamford has got three-star, three-star. I have to be honest, guys. Bamford's value... Bamford's value is is, is is very difficult for me to get behind. Because, what was it, 14 games to get him in squad battles or rivals? That's a lot for a player of, of this caliber. I mean, he, he's got some cool stats. But three-star, three-star is not it. Good stam, nice strength and aggression combination, good shooting. Could put a hawk on him. Good pace, great shooting, good physicals. Really nice short part passing for Bamford as well. Makes him super usable. So like Nick will obviously be real happy with him um, because he's super usable. He's not like meta, but he's usable. But for the amount that you need to put in to, to get this card, I don't know if it's worth it. it. It's a lot for an 89 rated top striker. Rodrigo, I'd, I'd say probably a little bit more value there. I like this card quite a bit i love the fact that his passing is actually very very good 90 vision 93 short 90 long stamina and strength is good aggression is okay defensively very good a shadow on him that is a quality cdm good physicals great defending good pace very good passing maybe a little heavy four star weak foot he's quite nice he is quite nice um on top of that we have got the other Premier League team of the season players. I just want to see their in-games, really. Rashford. Bruno. Why, is, why are these uh, picked up twice? Oh, can we, do we actually have like the Premier League tots that we could just look, look at here? Yeah, perfect. So, Harry Kane. Still only three-star, four-star. Oh, my good Lord. That is an... That is a class, class, class card. 95 sprint speed, 90 acceleration. Insane dribbling, 87 agility. Brilliant shooting, brilliant passing, very good physicals. He will bang goals, man. He will bang goals. Kane, I quite like. Hyung Min Son. Strength and aggression is a little bit low, but otherwise insane. Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. Unbelievable dribbling, perfect pace, unbelievable shooting, very, very, very good passing. 95 stam. you got to rate that. That is, he will be very, very, very good. Mohamed Salah, I'm excited to see his in-games because I think he's going to be absolutely insane. Yeah, 99 pace. That is, three-star weak foot is a bit disappointing. Four-star skill moves is nice. That it's just in, literally ridiculous. Unbelievable shooting, unbelievable dribbling, perfect pace, 94 stam, 
decent strength and aggression combination not the best unbelievable passing that is that is a brilliant brilliant card we have then got bruno fernandez so compared to his team of the year he's got one more in dribbling three more in defending oh no sorry three less in defending one less in dribbling two more pace passing uh one less and physicals one less obviously we know he's quality right we just know this is a quality card bag an engine on him Again, just levels good. You probably even put a shadow on him or an anchor on him and play him as box to box CDM because everything about this card is ridiculously good. Four star, five star, very nice indeed. Kevin De Bruyne. I quite like this card compared to his team of the year because they've given him five defending and two physical. So it makes him more suited to the box to box kind of setup. I think an engine on him anyway. It's, it's a little underwhelming. Literally perfect passing. Maybe, maybe a basic on him. I don't know. Choices on him. He's, he's, he's obviously a cracking card. You can play him pretty much anywhere in the attacking uh, setup. And then Marcus Rashford, guys. Five-star skill moves. Four-star weak foot. Maestro on him. Mm. Maybe Marksman. Nope. Maybe Engine kind of just need to boost that agility and balance don't you want well, the balance specifically that his physicals are super nice i'd actually be very interested to try him on a marksman great shooting good passing great dribbling a little low on balance great pace great physicals five star four star very nice did i say that bruno has five star weak foot no no bruno doesn't have five star weak foot four star four star on bruno um then we've got luke shaw super underwhelming so many other cards out there as good i mean he's still good right don't get me wrong pop an anchor on him top physicals very good defending very good pace good passing okay dribbling he's just not much better than what we already have in the game at that left back spot from the premier league we've then got fofana ruben diaz jao cancelo edison we don't really care about fofana needs a shadow very nice very nice. Great pace. Great passing. Good dribbling for a centre-back. Great defending. Very good physicals. He actually looks like he'll be a tank. 6-3 as well with that pace. Very nice. Ruben Diaz. That is a class centre-back. Reactions and composure, top tier. Passing, brilliant outside of vision. Great pace. Perfect defending. Exceptional physicals. Four-star weak foot. That is actually a top, top centre-back. A top centre-back there. And then João Cancelo. A bit disappointed on him because his 89 has genuine potential to be basically as good outside of like a couple of stats. You bang an anchor on him. That's fine. Good boost in strength, aggression, good defending, great pace, very good passing, very good dribbling. It is a good card. Positioning and shot power as well, very nice. Maybe a shadow. Depends on what you like. If you like a physical defender, four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot as well. It is a good card. He will just be cheap. Because again, there are just so many good right backs in the game already. It doesn't matter too much. We then got Vardy, Mount, Gundawan, and Susek. I'm not quite sure why it's like giving two versions of these uh these players. Let's start with this uh, Thomas Susek card. Three star, three star is a bit sad. I mean, with a shadow, that's a good card. His passing's a bit meh. I'd be tempted to put an engine on him. Gets his passing right up there. Pace to being good. Physical's good. Defending very good. Dribbling good. He's 6'4", which is nice with high, high work rates. I feel like he might just be a bit too, like, too slow. A bit too much of a, mm, you know. Uh, we then got Gundogan. This is a tricky card as well. Four-star, four-star is super nice. An engine chem style in him. I mean, that is a class card. Great shooting. Great passing. Okay physicals. Defending okay. As a, as a centre mid or a box to box midfielder is good. Pace is nice. Dribbling is insane. I reckon he might be one of those players that just is very good in game. Would like to actually try him out. Then Mason Mount. Three star skill moves. A bit boring. Four star skill moves. Stamina and aggression is brilliant. Passing is brilliant. Shooting is brilliant. Dribbling is brilliant. 
I mean, again, an engine on him. That is honestly, for a 92 rated card, that is an unbelievable card. 99 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. Absolute dark greens everywhere. Reasonable defending for like a midfielder as well. 92 stamp, 92 aggression. Volleys and penalties are low, but the rest of his shooting is top tier. He's th what? Like, for this price, this is how you know that Gareth Bale is a rip-off. Because Mount is already 350k. He will probably go down to 300k or less. Which means, for me, he is an absolute banging value card. And then Jamie Vardy, already under 500k for him. Three star, three star, obviously super disappointing. Probably what a finisher on him. Physically brilliant. Maybe, maybe a marksman, actually. Depends on what you want. I'll, I'll go with a finisher. Pace, great. Physicals, brilliant. Dribbling, brilliant. Phys uh, uh, shooting, obviously brilliant. Passing's okay. Three star, three star just lets him down. But that, guys, unless, and, and, unless we've got a value on that Bale SBC so far. Oh, my good lord. That can't be right. Is that right? No, it can't be right. It's actually, it's going to be 150, 250, 260. 30k there, 290. It's going to be like, what, 350k for the Gareth Bale? For me personally, it's an awful value card. It's, it's, it's just not good enough. Like, if you're a Spurs fan, you're going to do him. I will probably do him because I just love Gareth Bale. He's coming in at like 350k. He's he's just not good enough. He's just not good enough. He's got way too much wrong with him. Low aggression, low balance, three star weak foot, um, low like relatively low passing in the areas that is needed for this stage of the game. It's just not good. And so there you go. That is going to be the end of the video for now. As I said, guys, we're going to be opening player picks right now on stream. fbgg Nepentes. Come check it out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.